Yo, what's good? It's your boy Dot from Dot Me Now Coaching and Entertainment. For coaching, my links are down below. Spirit Guy readings down below. Star Sea readings down below. Timeline Surfer Healing Activation down below. And much more down below. Patreon down below. Social media is down below. Discord down below. Let's get into this video, man. So, we're going to talk about reawakening to your spiritual nature now. This is going to be your whole entire series on my YouTube. However, I will give some good information inside this video. Before I do that, though, let me just explain this real quick, right? This series is going to help us all to tap back into our spiritual nature, you know? Because we were in tune with our spiritual nature like as kids and before coming down here. But at some point we lost that connection. So we got to get that John back. And we're going to do that through. I have 10 episodes lined up, right? I'm going to I'm going to tell you guys all of them, right? Now, even though I have 10 episodes lined up, I tried to make. Wow. I was just thinking about somebody and they just texted me. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. But, um. With these 10 episodes, right, I tried to put them inside of like a chronological order, like first you learn this lesson, then that lesson. But at the end, I will still probably continue this series, but it's like it'll just be like every single week I talk about something new. And at that point, it probably won't be in any chronological order. But um, with that being said, right, the first episode is going to be about understanding spirituality, the trend versus the lifestyle. And then learn how to reconnect with yourself and then understanding the purpose of life and then tapping into your soul's gifts and then achieving spiritual mastery and what it takes. And then learning how to serve the creation and then learning when to isolate and then learning what it means to be God and then the hidden secret of immortality and then learning how to transcend. You know what I'm saying? We going we, we, we to talk about all of that. All of that, you know? So with that being said, right now, I want to mention how many people, right? Many people are lusting after, and when I say lust, I don't even always mean like when it comes to like intercourse, right? I mean like they just have such a strong desire for things in the material world. They are, they have a lot of greed. They want to attain more and more and more things, you know what I'm saying? But really, they only want that because they're not in tune with their soul. Like a lot of people right now only want things because they're not in tune with their soul. They're trying to get somewhere or get away from something because they're not in tune with their soul because if they were in tune with their soul they wouldn't even want certain things and they wouldn't want to get away from certain things you see being in tune with your soul is actually very important because most of the time we actually mess up our own life by not being in tune with our soul you know and when it came to that solar eclipse that was very big for activating our true self making us see the more real parts of ourselves and making us see where we could have been acting a little bit fake and a little bit false you see because when you do those things you'll do all these actions right which take you away from i'll just say your destined timeline or like your most high vibrational timeline because you have several different timelines that is true but the most beneficial one the highest one is always the one where you're at the most authentic it's always the one when you're acting the most authentically from yourself. So the thing is, right, in life, you can uh, you can manifest anything, right? It's just that if you are a person who's trying to be spiritual, meaning that you're trying to get in tune with your soul and you're also trying to manifest, a lot of manif a lot of manifestations will not work out because they're not in tune with your soul. And oftentimes your spirit guides are blocking that shit. Now, if you stop giving a fuck about that, tap into your soul shit, da 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 da, right? You can manifest pretty much anything. It's just that you may get certain things and then enjoy it for a long period of time, but then see at the end that, damn, this is not what I wanted. I really wanted something else type shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, when it comes to this series, right? And when it comes to, let's talk about life. When it comes to life in general, right? The summertime is really big for us showing our true self. So with this series, right, it's going to lead into the summertime. So hopefully by the summertime, we can really be in tune with our true self and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like summer, like we already are going through a rebirth right now, but that's going to be like, that rebirth is going to be way more seen during the summertime. It's like right now, we could be, we are changing a lot on the inside, right? But that internal change will be, 
expressed way more externally during summertime, especially because like with June, we're going to have Mars entering Taurus, right? Take an ass on our values type shit, right? Now, the thing is, if you're not aligned with your true self, your values will also not be aligned with your true self. Therefore, when summertime hits and you start taking action upon those values, you could take action on false values and then either not manifest anything or you manifest something that was not even beneficial to you in the freaking first place. You see what I'm saying? So... Right now, we're going to be helping you out to lift the veil off of a lot of different things because a lot of people are being like blinded by their own personality and by the information that they grew up with all their lives that told them that they had to be a certain kind of way or that life had to be a certain kind of way. Because I'm telling you, bro, you don't really need guidance. Like even from me, you don't really need guidance from me. You just need guidance from your soul. And all that I am oftentimes is just the middle way between your soul and and your personality because i get it i've been in a place where i couldn't always tap into my soul as easy as i can now even nowadays it's like you know i can tap into my soul pretty easily i still talk like for example me and my boy cash hop on the phone like you know what i'm saying every so often right and i swear to god it's like every time it turns into a freaking reading where he just start telling like you know what i'm saying he just start diving into my shit and telling me shit and it's like hey i be appreciating that shit and low-key i be doing it's weird because now it's like i do the same for him too it's weird how it kind of got back and forth like that but aside from that it's like even with me getting in tune with my soul i still have people tell me different things from my spirit guides and different messages from different parts of my soul so it's like i understand that even while getting in tune with your soul you may need some extra guidance because even while being in tune with your soul sometimes your soul want to learn shit quicker from a different person who already went through that shit you know what i'm saying but it's like still it's up it's up for your soul to tell you that and right now with this series right you guys are going to be getting guidance about how to tap into your soul so that way when it comes to your soul's wisdom, right, you'll have more access to it to the point where you don't really need anybody anybody else's guidance. And if you do need their guidance, right, you'll go to people who you actually need to go to. You won't be going to people just because you think you need guys, but you really don't type shit. It's like the people you go to, it's like your soul is saying, hey, go to them because they have exactly what you need type shit. You see what I'm saying? So it's time to become... You know, a kind of person who's able to trust their intuition and is able to trust their soul. But we can only do that if we reawaken to our spiritual nature. Because many people right now are not in touch with that. You know what I'm saying? Many people are are claiming to be spiritual, but they are actually not spiritual. They have never touched their soul. They have never touched their spirit. They have never touched spirit. and They never touched source. They never communicated with a higher being before. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that you have to be doing like crazy ass like shit like leaving your body, but you should be getting in touch with your soul, which oftentimes, I mean not oftentimes, which doesn't always involve astral projection. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm going to help you guys to really remember who you truly are and why you came to this earth. You know what I'm saying? And if you guys want more series, I do have more series on my Patreon down below. On Patreon, I have the um mastering the mundane series where i teach you guys how to master the physical reality and stuff like that that's on both patreons i have ascension archives where i teach you guys how to ascend beyond the physical and stuff like that that one's only on asar john then i have the um then i have um extraterrestrial enlightenment where ETs give out certain teachings i have that one on both patreons then we have the um what's it called then we have the, um, what's that shit? The time, the time council messages, which I post some time council shit on YouTube, but I post every single week a time council message on a Patreon, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to have a new Patreon open up soon for the crystal tablets. Oh my God, y'all at the Emerald tablets, Ruby tablets, I'm going to have all that shit coming soon. But before we get into all that, we got this series on YouTube right here, right now. Because to be honest, right, since I'm, happy, since I'm helping you guys tap into your soul, this could be the only series that you guys need. Now, if your soul leads you to the other shit too, that's cool. I understand it. My soul leads me to people sometimes. But it's like, hey certain shit you're not gonna really need because i'm gonna give it to you with this series for the free ski you know what i'm saying so with that being said um understand that you have everything that you need right now you just may not always realize it and because you don't realize it you desire things externally from yourself you desire things that are not in tune with your true self but you think would help you make you feel better and get in tune with your true self sometimes people don't even consider the true self they just consider oh i just got this would feel good 
that I need I need that You know what I'm saying Nah c- Contemplate your true self You know what I'm saying Think about what it means To actually be spiritual Think about what it's like To really be in tune with your soul And then come back next week For the next video That ties into this series About reawakening to your spiritual nature So with that being said That's the end of this video Catch you in the next one Peace